Allah So that the subject, inshallah, I would like to share humbly with all of you brothers and sisters from this uh, notice, from this mulahada or note that if we recite Surah Fatiha, it's better to make it complete, to read Surah Fatiha and then three Qulhu Allahu Ahad and one in Anzalnahu Fi Laylat Al Qalb. The dead person, he will recognize the person who recite the Fatiha for him. And in reward, Dua of Nayyid, that person who died, when you send him a gift, he will reward you. He will do Dua for you as well. And Nayyid Yajru Lil Ahya. And even if you go, you have some Hajj, some Diyaz, you go on the grave of your father, your mother, the alim, the special person, Allah will yastajib dua He will receive your call. He, he will answer you in certain places, in certain times. On the grave of your father, mother, or alim. This is in our riwayat. So this, inshallah, we'll start with this. Our topic, inshallah, tonight, how to uh, learn more about Islam and be serious more about what we learn. This is, we try to be between this two uh, topics, uh, to learn more about Islam. As you know, in the riwayat that Imam al-Sadiq, alayhi salatu was salam, he was offering classes for Hajj. <coughs> like how we have sometimes some workshops to teach people, to train people about different things. Religious or no, not religious. Daily needs life we have. Some courses. In Islam we used to have some courses also as well. <coughs> So Al Imam al Sadiq, he used to offer this lessons, classes about Hajj prior to the Hajj, like one, two, three months before Hajj. People need to understand Ahkam, Halal, Haram, Wajibat, Mustahabat, Makruh things about Hajj to prepare for Hajj. Looks like one of the companions of Imam Sadiq, alayhi salatu salam, he was listening to the classes been offered by Imam Sadiq to him and to others. He attend, according to the Riwai, he attend those classes for 40 years, year after year. And then he gave up. He said, Ya Ibn Rasulullah, Ama an li hadihi al-ahkam, hawl al-hajj an tantihi, arba'in a'ama, 40 years, every day. Hajj every year, two, three months, Hajj, Hajj, Hajj. Only about Hajj. فَقَالَ لَهُ This is a rewind. صحيح عربه. فَقَالَ لَهُ يَا هَذَا إِنَّ بَيْتًا بُنِيَ قَبْلَ آدَمْ كَذَا أَلْفْ عَامْ تُرِيدُ أَنْ تَنْتَهِ أَحْكَامَهُ بِأَرْبَعِينَ عَامًا You want me to finish the ahkam, the rules, the masail of Hajj about the houses that have been built years before Adam because the house of Allah was uh, built before Ibrahim وَإِذْ يَرْفَعُ إِبْرَاهِيمُ وَالْقَوَاعِدَ مِنَ الْبَيْدُ the قواعد was there the world was there for the, the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brothers and sisters there's so many masail we need to learn no one finished ألا يا مدعي في العلم فلسفة عرفت شيئا وغابت عنك أشياء person who you claim you know everything you know little bit But so many things you don't know you want to ignore about it so the masjid the center the place to learn those things in details in details you see for example about haram about haram about wajibat, about every details. Now in every study, every major you are, there's some details 
knowledge you love. Same thing in Islam. A alim or a doctor or an engineer or a lawyer, they study different. They have different things to practice. Same thing the knowledge, the ulum of Islam. Professor Quran is different, Faqih is different. A speaker is different. Not every Faqih is speaker, not every speaker of Faqih. Everything has a scale. Then, for example, about how to do things good in a right, <coughs> just we mentioned now, how to recite good Fatiha. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He said, Inna akramakum and Allahi atqakum. Brothers and sisters, what does this mean? It does not mean just taqwa. Taqwa means complete. One of the meaning is taqwa, and one of the meaning whom who is better, the best. In akramakum and Allahi atqakum. You have a company, you have a center, you have any business, you hire whom who is a complete. That's what means akramakum and Allahi atqakum. That's the meaning. Prophet Muhammad صلى عليه وعلى أصواتكم. Allahumma صلى على Muhammad وعلى Muhammad. In one very detailed story, he was building or he was involved in a burial of one of the Sahaba, Sa'd ibn Mu'az. We know the story, maybe the rest of it, but I don't want to bring that story. But I'll bring just this part when he puts the rocks on the top of the grave and then as you know we have some gaps between the rocks between the bricks the ceiling, the top of the grave he's not building masjid or a palace or a house, no he's building a grave and you know what's happened to the grave will demolish, the ceiling will drop and they will put some dust on it, they will leave they are not decoration center or a masjid or a house. Prophet ﷺ, he said, he asked them, request them to give him some money to fill between the gaps of the bricks. Something is not right. He is filling the gaps between the bricks of the top of the grave. So Muslims, they look at Prophet, what he's doing. He's doing a good job. This is example for us. And then he replied, he said, Inni la'alamu annahu sayusri'u ilayhi al-bila. I know the ceiling will demolish in all your grave. Walakinna Allah yuhibbu ahadakum idha amila amalan salihan an yutqina. I know this is a grave. I don't have to paint or to fill between the, the bricks. I know that. I'm not a person I don't understand. No, I don't. I'm not wasting my time. Because he's a ma'asun. But the philosophy, the point of this, I'm doing a good job for you to learn. Any job you do, any ibadah, any salat, any namaz. Look at now, maybe you, are, uh, you heard the news about Toyota. They call eight million cars. Only a small problem maybe in the break. How big damage for the company now? Because I don't know they create whatever. This is the example you take. So this is the name of the company now. The name of that person is he do a good job. Good job has come from Islam. Good job in everything. In Fatiha, in Salam, in respect. In everything, in Allah, you have to be able to do good and good and and good and From other side, how Prophet, he was a loyal, he was respect his friends, he was respect his word, he was not lying or cheating anyone. This story before the death of Prophet, I will mention now. He used to work in a work of shepherds. He was taking care of the sheep. He did agreement with one of his friends, Prophet that they would take, he would take his sheep and his friends